Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you a totally free, non-destructive, raw editing Lightroom alternative. A while ago, I stumbled across an application called Darktable. As I mentioned, it's totally free and it is an application that allows you to process your images, including raw files. It's really very, very powerful. And I just wanted to introduce it to you because I know many of you don't want to subscribe to Adobe's photography plan, um, you know, pay monthly to use Lightroom. And maybe many of you just can't afford one of those other raw editors like On One Photo Raw or Luminar or anything like that. Well, if you're in one of those camps, then Darktable might be for you. As I mentioned, it's totally free. Uh, they have versions for Macs and Windows and for about four or five other operating systems as well. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website so you could download it. I'm not an affiliate. I have nothing to do with the company. I don't make any money. It's, I mentioned it's totally free. So you could just check it out. Um, I don't have any plans to do any training videos on Darktable. In this video, I'm just going to show you the application and you could decide if it's something you want to try. Um, but in the description below the video, I will have a link to another YouTuber. His name's Rico. And I noticed he has a lot of videos on Darktable. So hopefully he could help you get started using it. Now, Darktable, I kind of implied, it's, it's very comprehensive. It has a lot to it. It has this section called light table and that's equivalent to Lightroom's library module so it's a digital asset management manager and over at the left hand side you could import images you could import an entire folder of images you could scan for devices like an SD card plugged into the computer or a camera plugged into the computer for that matter uh, below that you have collections image information here uh, so this is kind of like the library module. You could do star ratings on an image and you could sort and search for the images here and whatnot. When you're ready to process an image, you would go to the darkroom section. So you click there and on the left-hand side, it has the history tab. You can see all the processing I did to this image. Um, as I mentioned, it's non-destructive. So you could go back in history and undo what you did. It never writes anything to the original raw file. So... You don't have to worry about screwing up your original image. Um, you could do snapshots. So if you're processing an image and you want to just take a snapshot of that point in time and then maybe continue processing down a rabbit hole and see if you might like that better, you could compare that to your snapshot and see which version you like better and then go back in history to the previous snapshot if you don't like what you were doing. Um, Duplicate Manager, a color picker. So it has a lot of functionality that you would find actually in Photoshop as well. Um, masking there. Now on the right hand side are the actual adjustments. And there's a lot of different adjustments and they call them modules. And across the top you have these seven icons. And, and if you just hover over things too, they'll give you a little tool tip of what everything is or what it is that you're hovering over. And they have these seven groupings of different uh, modules. The first one is just the active modules and that's what I have clicked on now. These are modules that I've actually used or did an adjustment on the image. Next are favorite modules. You can see I don't have any favorites but if I find I'm using the same few modules all the time I could favorite them and they'll be right here so I don't have to search for them. Uh, next to that is a they call a basic group. These are modules that you probably would use on most of your images. So they're right here in this basic group. Next to this is the tone group. Uh, anything to do with the tone of your image, the modules are here. Next to that is the color group. Anything to do with the color of your image or, you know, are here. And again, in these modules, you'd open them up and you do the adjustments. You can see they have different, uh, everything's different, right? Different type of adjustments you could do to your image. We'll go back to the tone group. I didn't want to activate that one. Turn that off. Um, actually, I want that one on. I want to go back over here and turn that one off. There we go. That should, there we go. All right. Now that I got that fixed. Uh, but like, uh, like levels, you know, so you got levels like in Photoshop, you have a tone curve and different adjustments. 
Uh, over here we have the um, corrections group so you could sharpen the image uh, do lens corrections um, over here we have finishing or the effects group you could do effects like vignetting grain uh, graduated density and I mentioned that there's a lot of different modules so if you go down here to more modules you can see I don't know how many there are but there are a lot of modules that will do all different types of adjustments to your image. So it's a very, very powerful program. And I will say probably the learning curve is going to be fairly steep. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in the application, go over to Rico's YouTube channel, and he has some videos there that hopefully could help you out. Uh, then over here to the right, you see other. And if we click on that, you can see they have a map module, a print module, a slideshow module, and they have tethering support, so you could shoot directly into Darktable from your camera. So I know if you're in a studio situation, you may want to have the images directly load into the computer and get displayed on a 4K monitor or something like that. And you could do that here. So it's a really, again, a very, very powerful application that is totally free. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention it, because I know many of you, as I mentioned, just can't afford those other applications or don't want to give Adobe a monthly payment for the privilege of using their applications. So that's it, really. Um, I just wanted to let you know that there is a free alternative out there that is very powerful, Darktable. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.